Hello, Nomads Kalt, and this is a just for fun video. It's a riddle, so, but it's very useful if you understand the workflow, then you can use it for many other things, but it's complex. So, so the riddle is how to place this icosahedron on the top of the pyramid exactly on this mesh position here in the center of the triangle and aligned to the fuse so that it's correct orientated so like this so you can try it for yourself it's a nice exercise so and um, there is much um, uh, uh, about here the, um, the pivot thing and um, the matrix baking and yeah and many other nice things. You can try it yourself and press pause or you can watch the video. So I start now. Okay, I delete everything but the the plane. So it stays here. So. Let's start with the icosahedron. So I bring in this primitive and I change the post subdivision a little bit, maybe to this. I validate this object and here in the material settings I uh, turn off smooth shading so I can see it a little bit better. So. I scale it a little bit and bring it in position. So we have to find a face that works. So here these faces are not aligned to any view or something. So here in the front view, sorry, you see here this triangle is, a, is correct aligned to the gizmo position here. So let's use this, sorry, this triangle here and um, we need for this the pivot option so and press with your finger on the face of the uh, icosahedron so now the um, the pivot is positioned like this here the alignment is okay and we use the um, the rotation snap and use a 90 degree rotation and place the green direction in this direction so like this now let's leave the pivot option now let's use the transform tool here and you see here now this green small arrow and now pick this one and place it on the on the plane so now the orientation is yeah aligned to the plane so this is nice and here in the gizmo settings here you see here an option to bake this position so bake it so the next thing is here i use now the solo view our pivot is now on this position here so we need the exact position on this uh, triangle here in the middle so let's use the mask and left side turn symmetry off and use the unmasking option so now unmask three points here and turn the gizmo on so now you see the gizmo is now on this position here so I leave now the solo view and let's test it if it works here with a, with a gizmo matrix. Here is the option to move origin. So now it moves the complete icosahedron to the origin. Okay. So I clear now the mask activate the gizmo 
So now the actual gizmo is on the old position, not on the mask position. So now we have to fix the, the gizmo on the new position of the mesh center. So in the pivot option here is uh, now the, the reset option to the center and to the bottom. Now the pivot is exactly in the world center and in the center of the triangle. So now let's bake this position. Baking, everything is zero. So let's test it. Oops, not the pivot. So now our pivot gizmo position and when we press reset it jumps to the world center. So this is what we want. Okay. Now we need the pyramid. So um, let's add a, a cone. So for the cone we can change the pivot position to the bottom and move it to the origin here. And we can change the divisions to four, like a pyramid. So let's adjust the height a little bit, maybe like this, and validate this object. So with a gizmo, um, here we can change the snap rotation to 45 degrees, change the pivot position, rotate it, and rotate the pyramid. So the next thing is we have to find this top position of the pyramid. Um, so for this solo view, now mask this whole thing, symmetry off and unmask the top of the pyramid. Now use the gizmo, the gizmo jumps to this position and we can create add on the gizmo position a group. So we can bring um, the cone out of the group and now we bring our icosahedron inside the group. So the group position is here, the icosahedron position is here and now our translation here we can reset to the group position. And now the whole thing is exactly centered in the on the top of the pyramid. So nobody needs this uh, icosahedron on the top of the pyramid, but you need um, you can use um, the functions for other things. And yeah, have fun with sculpting. That's it. Ciao.